Hi guys, I'm here with Heidi Kendall and she is the Suicide Prevention Coordinator for the City County Health Department. Yep. So, and you're here to talk t about Project um, Tomorrow. Yep. But also, you're, uh, this is a Suicide Prevention Week, so there's right. a lot of stuff happening this week. Yep. And I saw you on City Council the other night, I'm just like, I gotta get in okay. contact with these folks and Good. I wanna get someone on. So, Good. I got someone on! Yay! Thank you so much! So, uh, talk to us about what is a Project Tomorrow. Yes. Project Tomorrow is, I have a little prop here, Project Tomorrow is a, um, an initiative of the United Way of Missoula County and the City County Health Department. It is a coalition of businesses, um, interest groups like the Vet Center, um, hospitals, there are a lot of um, you know counseling type people who are involved in it. Just a whole bunch of people who are really interested in preventing suicide in Missoula County and in the region. So um, I'm on the website right mm -hmm. now. Um, what is some of the uh, resources on the website people can utilize? Yeah, there is um, you know there's a page that talks about who Project Tomorrow is, who belongs to the. Um, the project or the initiative. Um, there's a sign up page to get involved if you want um, where you can um, sign up and say I want to volunteer or I'm interested in getting more information. There's um, a page that has resources where you can go if you are feeling you know depressed or if you know somebody who is which is really common I mean depression and thinking about suicide are sort of part of the human condition at least you know once in a while for people so we want to make sure that people know that there are phone numbers to call places to go where they can get help to get coping you know, tools for coping and getting through difficult times since we all had them. Yep, and yep. the website is projecttomorrowmt.org. That's right. Yep, and the uh, suicide uh, prevention uh, lifeline, you yep. guys call it. It's not a hotline, it's a lifeline. Yep. And it's 1-800-273-TALK uh, or yep. 8255. No yep. So there is um, the 800 number. We try to get these posters and little cards that look like this all over the place. And if anybody wants one, I can get one to them, or Project Tomorrow can. Um, the the phone number is 1-800-273-8255 or TALK. Um, and then there's also a crisis line. And it's 24-7. Um, it's a free call. Um, the, then there's also the uh, crisis text line, which is super cool because you can just take your phone. You could be in a room full of people and just be feeling overwhelmed right. or be concerned about somebody who's sitting by you or something. And without anybody knowing, you can text and say, I have a question or I need help and somebody will respond right away. So that's, you text MT, the letters MT, to 741741. It's awesome and people are using it a lot. So let's talk about some of the uh, signs of suicide. You yep. know, like, kind of like you said, like people can get overwhelmed, but a lot of times, yep. a lot of people just don't know yep. when people um, are suicidal or exactly. are depressed. Yep. Um, one of the things we know about suicide through research is that most people who attempt suicide have shown, you know, sometimes subtle signs that they are thinking along those lines, even if they don't say anything, but they might do things or say things that um, if you know what to look for, you will recognize. So some of them are things like, you know, um, suddenly poor hygiene, um, not being able to sleep, um, being agitated, being, um, you know, depressed or, um, you know, just sort of shutting down, um, not doing well in school, not doing well at work. Um, and a lot, of, um, a lot of times there's an event that sort of um, exacerbates what's already going on. So if somebody is, is having um, this period of, of depression or anxiety that can become overwhelming, then if something happens like a divorce, a loss, you know, losing a job, um, having a financial crisis, you know, bullying in right. school, getting um, harassed with people, the, all these things, you know, in combination can just put someone over the edge. So if you if we are all trained in the community to know what to look for, we can intervene and get someone to help so they can get another tomorrow. What we say about Project Tomorrow is that your tomorrow matters. And if we can get you to tomorrow, tomorrow's a better day. Right. 
And I think that's a great message that is being sent. And also, what are some of the things that uh, Project Tomorrow and other organizations like uh, United Way, yep. um, I, I saw um, Susan Hay Patrick, which yep. is also talking about it, which gave great praise to you guys as well. Um, you, she's fantastic, yes, let me she's just great. say. She's okay. been on the show plenty of times. She's an advocate <laughs> for pretty much everything that yep. helps the city of Missoula. Yep. Um, so it's Suicide Prevention Week, and what are some of the uh, um, events and stuff yeah. that are happening? We have a cool little poster um, that has the events. Today is Wednesday the 13th. We have a film tonight at the Roxy. It's free. Um, it's called Crisis Hotline Veterans Press One. It's uh, an award-winning documentary. It's about 45 minutes long, and it's really cool. It's behind the scenes at a hotline where you can see what happens when someone calls in and the people answering the phone talking to someone who's in crisis. It's very, very interesting and it's a very uplifting movie. And then after that, there will be a panel of people talking about the veteran's experience. So that's, we're really excited about that one. So that's tonight at seven at the Roxy. And then tomorrow we have a free um, suicide prevention class at the YMCA, which is at 3000 South Russell. Um, thank you to the YMCA for giving their space for this class. It's for anyone um, who, uh, who knows people, who you know walks in the community um, or rides in the community. Um, anyone uh, who, is, who has any interest in, in helping with suicide could go to this class and learn about looking for those signs of suicide that we were talking about and how to intervene. And we give a lot of information about, you know, um, what number to call, you know, in different kinds of situations. If it's really an emergency, you go to the hospital, you go to the ER, you call 911. If it's less of an emergency, here are some phone numbers that you can call to get help depending on, you know, who you are. If you're a student at the university, you can call this number, you know, that sort of right. thing. So it's a really useful, practical, hands-on kind of class. Um, and we also, at those classes, give out gun locks because, um, Suicide is preventable, and if you if people are keeping their guns safely yeah. locked up with a gun lock or in a safe, they're much safer. We have two kinds of gun locks that we give out. This is a cable lock. This is a trigger lock. They're both good. Yeah, and um, it's it's um, it's always like that split decision for sure. A lot of times, it's yep. always just like a really brass decision. But if something like if you take the extra time and it's like, oh, maybe yep. you know, I shouldn't. Yep. It's like it's one exactly. of those things. Yep, it's, it's it's exactly right. It's like locking your car doors. You know, it's a deterrent. Yep. It give it gives a little bit of time to to think and yep. rethink, as you say. Do I really want to do this? Because um, it is often a very impulsive decision, even though it has been maybe in somebody's mind for for weeks. It mm -hmm. you know suddenly. Okay, yeah. this is it. And some, it's a, a lot of the times you got to take like a right a bunch of different steps. It, yep. You can't just expect to be just like you know like oh you're depressed you're low and blah blah blah. You can't just be like oh snap I'm I'm gonna snap right, right out right. of it. Everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, I gotta take the first step and yep. just like maybe exactly if I try this things will get better. Yep. Maybe this will get better. Yep. Maybe so a lot of times. Uh, no matter how small something like maybe is for a lot of people, it's enough for yep, a lot of people. Exactly. Scott, you're so good at this. <laughs> I think you've taken a class. <laughs> I'm so proud. Um, so then also tomorrow evening, after the QPR class, there is a free per performance at the Salvation Army, which is on Russell near the Good Food Store. 355 South Russell is the address. Um, so at the Salvation Army is this free performance by Kevin Kicking Woman, who um, gives this amazing performance um, that has some drumming and some props and storytelling and singing. And he relates in a very beautiful, hopeful way his um, childhood trauma and what brought him out of it. And it connects um, to ancestors and spirituality and it's a very inspiring, it's kind of hard to watch in some places because you learn about the trauma that he experienced, but it's a very uplifting um, performance ultimately and I would encourage anyone, um, anyone at all to go see that. It's really fantastic. He is a real community treasure. Um, and then the last couple things are on Friday, um, starting early in the morning at um, St. Patrick Hospital in the Conference Center. 
um, at 500 West Broadway, there is a uh, medical conference by Dr. Blair Davison, who is a child psychiatrist, and she talks about sort of the medical perspective on suicide and suicide prevention, and it's really great. Um, I've seen her presentation, and it's just super. And then the very last thing is um, Friday evening, starting at 7:30 at the Downtown Dance Collective, Dance Out of the Dark, and you know this is a great way to end up the week. Um, by you know having a real uplifting community gathering that's related to dance and you know physical movement, which is a key part of mental health. I mean, you know, we try to think about how the the mind is part yeah. of the body. In, yeah. in people try to be like, um, my mind over the matter. Mind is you know like, yeah. and it's like it's mind and matter, not mind or matter. Exactly. Yep. And um, mental health is just as important as physical health. And it's a real challenge sometimes. No, it's work. You got to take yep. the time. Exactly. It's like you know, you the way you work out your body is the way you got to work out your mind. Yep. You can't just let it go. Yep. So we really want people. You know, suicide has been a real growing problem nationally and in Missoula. We've had yeah. Um, we've had 25 suicides in Missoula this year up through the end of August, which is absolutely unacceptable and it's preventable. I mean, suicide yeah. is preventable. We know how to solve this problem. We just have to talk yeah. to as many people as we can about how to intervene. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it, it's, it, it's a lot of it, it's not, um, because each individual is their own thing. And a lot of times, like we live in a world where like everyone's overwhelmed with everything. Yep. You got a whole bunch of information at you. Yep. There's so many resources in place. There's like, so many resources. You know, Project Tomorrow is just one of many resources people can jump on if they are feeling low or they're feeling bad. There's yep. plenty of hotlines, lifelines, stuff like that yep. people can call. So once again, uh, let's uh, tell them, tell people out there um, where they can go to find more information. Yep. Yep. And take care of ourselves and each other, and we can solve this problem. So uh, once again, um, the website is. Project, Project Tomorrow, Tomorrow. MT.org. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping we'd say it together. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's do it again. Okay. Ready? Project, Project Tomorrow, Tomorrow MT.org. MT. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> we got it. Um, and also the um, the um, the the hotline and the um, the lifeline the is life, on the, yeah. the it, crisis text it, line. Yes. It's um, 1-800-273 talk or 8255 right but also the text number is on a bunch of these banners that you you'd see basically in poster form and yep. a smaller form but the text you text MT to 741 741 yep that easy yep so yeah thank you Heidi for joining me thanks Scott. and uh, I hope all these events are great and it really connects with people here in Missoula and maybe even beyond yep thank you so much yep